hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to use the 3d space transition effects that inshot recently introduced open your inshot app then when you open your inshot app you click on videos you know as if you want to either create a new video create click on new for me i'm going to just add few clips like you need more than one clip to be able to use this once you have done that click on this check green button so that your videos will be imported right into your inshot once your video is imported you know i'm just going to play this video so that you see how it is you know how the video is at this point where you have this thing that looks like pen you click on that that's where you are going to add transition between the two videos you know the end of a video and the beginning of another one so once you've opened that go to 3d space you know you can see it it's a new addition if you are not seeing it just update your in shot app so anyone i touch you know the, there is a lot of them here and all of them are in three dimension so anyone i touch i'm going to actually go over it so that you see how the effect looks like you can see this one you can see how it looks looks so beautiful like you know trying to show you this other picture at the same time showing you another one so this other one is there so this one is like for this one is as if we are dividing something and bringing the cube together so it's actually a lot you can lay your hands on a number of them and try them out to give your video a beautiful transition so when you go to this place that is like a uh, time you can set the duration how fast or how slow you want your transition to be that is what this place means if you drag it you know it can show how big or how slow you want your transition to be you can set it and it will also affect the timing or duration of your video if you set it to be longer the duration of video will reduce if you set it to be shorter you know your video duration will still be almost the same thing just maybe less than five or two seconds depending on it then for this other one when you check this one that has double you can apply this particular transition to all the video i have three clips here what that means is that i'm using one particular transition for all my clips but you can actually change that it's not a must that you use one particular transition for all your clips you know some particular scenes of your video may require a particular transition type so what you can do to change that is when you come to the point where the other video ended and another clip started you just click on it even though you have choose, uh, chosen apply to all you can also click on it like this one can come back to this one and click on it and say okay let me change it so i'm going to be showing you how to do that right away so let's first of all come to this place and then i'm going to change the transition so I'll change it to this one that is like four then i'll click on this mark up there i also change this one to another one that looks like door window then i'll click this check mark and bam that is all so i'm going to play it again from the beginning so that you see the new transition additions that i have made to this video for me i feel this is actually a very cool feature so i i hope you know that transitions are different from animation animation is for you to add movement to your pictures while transition is to, you know a, um, what shows between one scene and another between one clip and another how the movement goes how you transition how you move from one scene to another why animation is that you are, are trying to add movement to an inanimate object or even something that is also animate you are trying to add extra movements or effects to it that is what animation is and is different from transition so do you think you would want to try this out do you use in short you want to try this out i want you to tell me in the comments so once i'm done i'll just click on export choose the particular size i want and export my video and my video will be saved for into my you know gallery did you learn anything from this video did you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share this video with your contacts or whosoever you think might need it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye